It's lunchtime on Wednesday, and members of the San Pedro High School Science Bowl team make their way to room 210 for the weekly Science Bowl practice. Recruited from the school's advanced placement science and math classes, members of the team are competitive, science-oriented students eager to test their scientific minds against students from other schools in the greater Los Angeles area. Science Bowl coaches, math teacher Kathy Figuracion and physics and chemistry teacher Douglas Martinez oversee the practices. However, the Science Bowl program at San Pedro High School is mainly a student-run organization. This year's captain is senior Robert Grassian. Uh, my name is Robert Grassian. I'm a senior. I've competed on the team for two years now, and I'm the captain this year and last year. And I was also the refounder last year. Because San Pedro High has two teams entered, one in the buzzer competition and the other in the hands-on competition, the teams take time to practice both. Five seconds, Rob. Two. Is correct. Using questions from previous years, the team members practice how to follow the rules of the competition, including the timing and the scoring. Competitors get five seconds to answer toss-up questions worth four points. The team that correctly answers a toss-up question then gets 20 seconds to answer a bonus question worth 10 points. To prepare for the buzzer competitions, our team meets weekly, and we have mock competitions where we divide our teams, and we divide our Science Bowl team into two, and we compete using buzzers. Every year, during the week before the actual Science Bowl competition, the Science Bowl teams face a team of math and science teachers in a mock competition. So every year we have our Science Bowl team and the teachers of physics, chemistry, math, and so on compete as if it was a real competition. This year, uh, only one of our science teachers was able to come, but we still competed. Finally, the big day arrives for the San Pedro High School Science Bowl teams. Competitors from 25 schools in the greater Los Angeles region are welcomed to this year's Science Bowl by LADWP, Manager of Educational Outreach, Mr. Walter Zeisel. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the LADWP Science Bowl 24. All too soon, the competitors are dismissed to their rooms to begin the first phase of the competition a round-robin tournament to determine which teams will move on to the elimination rounds in the afternoon. And so it begins. several tough matches in a grueling round-robin tournament, and after putting forth a valiant effort against very competitive teams, the team from San Pedro failed to advance to the playoff rounds. So, it's on to the hands-on competition for both teams. In this year's hands-on competition, teams were given an hour and a half to design and build a miniature catapult using an assortment of odds and ends like rubber bands, plastic bowls, and paper cups. The catapult had to deliver a projectile into the center square of a tic-tac-toe board, and the winning catapult was the one that came closest. San Pedro's B team was unable to create a working catapult in the allotted time. The A-team, though, managed to design and build a functional catapult, but the projectile missed its mark. In the end, both teams came up empty-handed in the hands-on competition. Walter Zeisel, Manager of Educational Outreach, the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. I'm in charge of uh, most of the, our um, educational outreach programs. The first year of uh, Science Bowl was in 1993. Uh, at that time we had 16 teams and 16 schools coming from the city area, basically Los Angeles. But this year we have uh, about 25 schools and 48 teams competing in the, uh, in the program. Science Bowl seeks to encourage students of all backgrounds and all parts of the city 
uh, to gain interest and excitement to study math, science, and technology uh, in school, but then also to consider pursuing these fields um, to go into engineering, um, science, and technology. At last, it's time for the championship rounds in the LADWP Auditorium, as the final three teams face off to find out which one will go on to the National Science Bowl competition in Washington, D.C. After a long, exhausting day and round after round of rigorous science competition, the two teams left standing are North Hollywood High School and the Los Angeles Center for Enriched Studies. Finally, after a hard-fought battle, the champion is North Hollywood. Here are the top finishers in today's competitions. In the buzzer competition... Uh, the first place regional championship, North Hollywood High School. The second place to the LA Center for its studies. In the hands-on competition, first place winner, the Yankees of Hamilton High School. Second place in the Palisades Charter High School. Third place, Venice High School. I was very proud of our science school team this year. We won a few, although and although we lost a few, we improved from last year. And I could tell my team had fun, and that was what was really important.